What's up everyone? Today I am doing a video that is hard and I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be me talking about weight gain and what caused me to gain three quarters of the weight that I lost back in, God, I guess it was a year. I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it because I feel like this can help a lot of people. Also, as I'm talking to you, I'm on the hold with Amazon background, so if you hear classical music, that's what that is. So I weighed myself for the first time this morning in a few months and I wanted to start trying to lose weight again at the beginning of this year and that this did not happen. Um, there are a lot of things that happen that I can't really talk in full detail about, but I will say that my wife and I have been trying to figure out how we plan to have children and we tried fostering and our foster placement just did not work the way that we had hoped. So that has happened. We had to take an emergency trip across half the country to go see some family in the middle of that big snowstorm that happened in February. And on top of all that, just general stress has been really hard with you know life being different we all have covid fatigue the first thing that has affected me greatly that has caused this weight gain is a little bit of depression probably the past little while i have not felt like myself so that's been a struggle that i've been dealing with that i have not spoken to anybody about but the people who are very close to me know what i'm going through there the second issue that i've had is just having crap food in the house Making a lot of keto-friendly versions of carby foods means that I've recipe test a lot, and that means that most days I have no clue what my macros have looked like, and they're very hard to track. The first thing that's caused my weight gain has been depression. The second thing has been just general overeating and going way off base with my meal plan. Um, my plan has been no plan, and that has not worked very well for me. What made me pretty successful with um, losing weight and with maintaining my weight was having an idea of what I was gonna eat throughout the week and I couldn't tell you what that looks like now. The third thing that has affected my body and caused me to gain weight has been celebrating just a little too hard. Now these were not like big to-do celebrations at all, but we had a lot of food there and that has not contributed to my success. And unfortunately, I think the last thing that has caused my weight gain has been a reliance on frankenfoods. And by this, I mean like the keto breads, um, sugar-free ice creams, like all of the healthy junk food options that we stray away from when we start doing a true keto diet. As I move forward, I might have these things every once in a while, but I am gonna reduce them. My goal right now is to go from my current weight today of 172.2 and I want to get back down to where I felt the happiest, which was 155. So in the month of April, I want to get down to 170 and my goal is going to be to lose two to three pounds a month. I don't think that that's like a wild amount of weight to lose per month. And after doing this, probably through the summer, just trying to eat in general, healthier. I think I'll get back to a place where I feel a lot happier. I don't wanna be super restrictive as far as what kinds of stuff I am allowed and not allowed to eat because I just don't think that helps me feel like I'm enjoying my food. But I am going to reduce the amount of shitty things that I'm consuming. So if you're interested in following along and seeing what kind of stuff I'm gonna eat now that I'm cleaning up, um, then hit the subscribe button below. And if you are also on a weight loss journey, then go ahead and like this video so I know how many of you guys are doing the same thing along with me. It sucks to admit that weight gain has happened, especially for the reasons in this video, because I feel like, I feel like all of it was avoidable and I just suck, but our bodies are not meant to be the same in every season of life. And I'm really thankful for what my body has done to get me to this point. Um, we went through a whole pandemonium. We, I have ran the past year. I've done other fitness stuff that I'm really proud of. I just am not doing it right now. So I wanna get back to the point where I'm doing that, where I'm exercising for fun. And um, 
I'm just in better health than I am now. So all of that being said, thank you for watching. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If you are noticing the weight creep back up just a little bit, don't stress. Just think about some of the things that I mentioned in this video. And if your life is looking similar, it might be better just to, to talk to somebody about what you're going through, but also to look at the food you're eating and see where you can make some improvements and even get rid of some of the crap food altogether. Even if it's keto food, it's not always good for you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.